a bag, a bag of 20 cent coins instead of a roll. Um, yeah, so let's search through this. Good fun. All right, a little bit, takes a little bit longer because there's $10 worth as opposed to $4 worth. So um, the search lasts longer. More opportunities, I suppose, to find some of these rarer coins because there's more coins to search. 73, 2010. I'll go a little bit quicker because there's so many coins. Oh, here we go, 966, wavy baseline. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. No, no, it's got, it's got a little bit of a bump on it, but it's just been knocked, I think. That's all right. We'll check these for pointy A's in Australia. At the top there, no, they're flat top days. Keep on going. I've got a feeling I'm going to find something relatively good, something that I'll be happy with in this bag. So probably getting close to halfway through. Let's get a few more sorted and mm. oh, this one could be rotated. Let's go. Two thousand and one. Not though. Two thousand and twenty. Mm, no. Oh, Nine sixty-eight. Two thousand and one. Give it a little rotate. No, this one dropped, so I'll check it anyway. Yep. Yeah, nope. Nineteen eighty. Nope. Nineteen eighty-one can be three and a half claw. Not three and a half claw. Two thousand and four. Check for those pointy A's. No, flat top days, those ones there. And last section of the bag. So this is the last little pile to search through. Let's go. Looking at the dates here. So this one, looking for pointy A's on the 2004s. 2008s, look for the wave gap. Not on that one. Look for the three and a half claw. That one's very dirty, but it didn't have a three and a half claw wave gap. No. Two coins to go. Last coin, 1999. Nothing in that roll, but it was a good fun to search. But um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Nice.